we are given a triangle on a grid and we're told each small square on the grid has a side length of one meter. We are asked to determine the length of the base, the height, and the area of the triangle. Normally the base is the bottom side or the side the triangle is resting on and because we are using the grid to determine lengths we will use this side here as the base. Notice how the base has a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the units would be meters. We will label this side B for base equals 10 meters. And now the height is going to be the distance from the base to this highest point here. Notice how the height is 1, 2, 3, 4 meters. We will label this H equals 4 meters. According to the information below, the length of the base is 10 meters, the height of the triangle is 4 meters, and now we need to determine the area of the triangle, which is the number of square meters that will fit inside the triangle. The area formula for a triangle is area equals 1 half base times height, or we can say base times height divided by 2. So for this triangle, the area is equal to 1 half times 10 meters times 4 meters. Simplifying, 1 half times 10 is 5. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. And the units are square meters. Exactly 20 square meters will fit inside this triangle. Before we go though, let's talk about where this area formula comes from. We've already learned the area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height as we see here. And now if we look at the triangle where this side is the base and this is the height, if we make a second copy of this triangle, and let's say we make it red, and then rotate it and place it here, notice how the two triangles form a parallelogram where we know the area of the parallelogram, which is made up of these two triangles, is equal to base times height, which means the area of one of the triangles would have to be one half base times height or base time height divided by two. This is the reason why we have a factor of one half in the formula where we divide by two. I hope you found this helpful.